Hey, my name is Jess. I'm from Toronto, Canada, and I'm so thankful that a church has become a new part of my life over the past year and has helped me feel closer to Jesus and God. God and Jesus have been the guiding lights through many very tough and painful times for me over the past five years. I have many stories to share of their loving presence through these seasons of suffering in my life. But there is one particular story that was life-changing for me and led me to Meta Church. It had been about two years of trying to heal a traumatic brain injury and post-concussion syndrome for me. I was in a very hard place. I had been off work for two years because of my concussion injury since I had light and screen sensitivity symptoms since the injury. Navigating life, not being able to look at a screen or not being able to be in the light was very isolating and dark. I felt I was drowning. I felt alone. I prayed and remained faithful and I wanted to join a church. I wanted to find a community who I felt was welcoming and who also rested their hearts in Jesus and God. And a church that taught this but also practiced it with all those who attended the church. This was the church I wanted to find, but it felt impossible, especially with the concussion injury limiting my search abilities. Then, one night, out of nowhere, I had a dream. It was a very spiritual dream and one of many I have had over the trials I faced in the past five years. But this one in particular, I will never forget. In the dream, I was on a dock on a beautiful sunny day. The sky was pure blue and there was not a cloud in sight. I was in and out of a boat tied to the dock and accidentally knocked a log off the dock and into the water, into the lake around me. I stared at it as it started to float away, but then something supernatural started to happen around me. All of the logs that had been at the bottom of the lake suddenly, one by one, started rising to the surface. This made me step back. I was thinking, what is happening? Then these massive silver tubular letters, each bigger than I am tall, started to rise up out of the water too. They read, Meta Church. And as I was staring up at them in the sky, I noticed a figure and a lot of white linen descending from the blue sky above me. Now I really stepped back. Is this a ghost? What is happening? The figure slowly came down from the sky and glided directly over top of me. When he reached just above me, I could see a face and gold shimmering down the front of his linen robe. This was no ghost. This was Jesus in white linen robes descending from the sky. But in the dream, I still didn't know that. But as he glided over me, he had his arms out to the side and he never gazed down at me. It was like I wasn't there, but he knew I was. He vanished, and as he vanished, the tubular letters Meta Church fell into the lake, causing a huge tidal wave that I made it over by holding on to the boat. Then I woke up instantly. I was frozen for a moment. What had just happened? Jesus showed up in my dream. I was in shock. The next thing I searched was Meta Church, and then I stumbled upon Meta Church New York, a church that offered podcasts. It seemed like a really great way for me to be able to hear sermons without attending a church with lighting overhead every Sunday. As I started to listen to the podcast, I knew this was the church for me. Jesus had guided me to the church who got him right and who practiced what they preached. I reached out to Meta and have been with the church now for about half a year and what a life-changing part of my life it has been. I would have never found them or connected with this beautiful community of people, leaders, and pastors if it weren't for Jesus' guidance. I am forever grateful for this experience and where Jesus led me to through it. That is my story I wanted to share with you all today and I hope it gives you as much faith and hope as it did for me that Jesus is watching over all of us in heaven and will help us when we need his loving guidance. 